I wonder, could you get away with, if you did get thrown out, going back and saying, I identify as a loser. Let me back in. <laughs> That's funny. Well, it's funny you say that part. That was going to be my next part of something, and it's going back in. What I don't understand is, don't the sports books realize now I'm going to play under John Orlando's name, under Michael's name. I'm going to, I'm going to play anyway. Yeah. Right. Now you're going to get me. I'm just going to beard in. By the way, you have to give me a bonus now. You have to for sign up, and you're not going to know it's Bill Krakenberger playing. Yeah. You're right. not going to know at first. You're not. Well, you're never going to know it's me, but you're never going to know it's someone sharp at first. It's going to take a while right. to identify. Hey, this guy's betting prop bets. This guy's betting secondary markets. This guy's betting correlations. You know, you're, it's going to take a while. Whereas right. if you just book me for a certain amount of money. You know it's me. You know to move your line. Right. They're getting get the, the information. Get the information. Get the customers on the other side of Does that. Does this ever happen with, like, DraftKings? Do you ever have, like, uh, guys who are really sharp there? Get I'm banned? not allowed to play at DraftKings or FanDuel on, on, on the apps. Or, or by, by the way, everywhere over there. Yeah. Bet Rivers, everywhere on the East Coast. They threw me off the apps. They do book me at the counter for $1,000 max. Um, at, at the counter, I have to go to Foxwoods now. Atlantic City is $500. They have one place at resorts. It's $500 max at the counter for me. Foxwoods has DraftKings thousand dollars. So does DraftKings identify you, identify you by name, or have you just had so much action they thought was toxic that they they banned you? Uh, they, they, they know my name when I come up there because I'm going to go over to ten thousand dollar mark mm. cumulatively. Okay. So you have to give your ID and stuff, so they know who's betting, and um, you know they they have to approve every bet. So they so it goes back. By the way, it goes back to Vegas right yeah. here on Durango is where the approval, yeah. even though it's in Connecticut wherever it may be, the approval's done here in Nevada. And they say, okay, Bill Krakenberger's over there. Okay, yeah, we'll give him a dime. I'll give him a nickel. I'll give him a dime. So I'm happy I'm getting that. I'm not going to be upset at that. And, you know, they, they, don't want, they don't want you and me being on the app. All three of us, and I'll say to you guys, all right, guys, on the count of, you know, down to one, one, two, three, three, two, one, bang. <clears throat> You hit it, you hit it, I hit it. They don't want to get hit on the same bet together. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that, that therefore, uh, they're, they're afraid that you're going to circumvent the limits that they have by us hitting it. So, that, so they, tr they throw the sharper people off the apps. Yeah. Um, and, and again, I think that's even wrong. Take $500 on the app and, and move your line and you know, learn them. But they, don't, they, they want you to, at least they're taking my bets at the counter. I, I can't blame them. And yeah. you know, they, they don't want, um, you know, it's funny. Um, I actually had an article that I, that, I, that I showed someone. They just don't want people, uh, DraftKings has openly said it, that they don't want people that win. Uh, you know, the, the, the oh, wow. CEO. <laughs> you know, the, you know, the, he he actually. The, the, I, I was on. I did a show on 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 Showtime called Action a couple of years ago. I did four episodes. We did a docu series. I was on there with the with the uh, CEO of DraftKings, Jason Robbins. Um, he 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 messed up by saying that yeah. pu publicly that uh, you know they they don't want any they just don't want anyone that wins. Um, so they 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 just don't they don't want anyone that wins. But you really listen. No sports books don't want anyone that wins. I mean, they, they really, long term. That, but sure. But they, but they book you. You know, um, it's funny. Look, as as we're on here, guys. I just got two props here at uh, 11 a.m. As you see, uh, Pittsburgh props. Buffalo quarterback Allen under 223 yards, and Rudolph under 173 and a yeah. half yards. And that's what I just said. I said the quarterbacks. Uh, does that count rushing yards for Allen? No, that, that that's just a just passing yards. Passing yards. Yeah. yeah. You like that? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I, I just, like, I, I've just been watching them. They they ran for 266 yards against the Cowboys. Like right. that's what they want to do is run the ball. Right. Uh, do you do you ever bet? Uh, I will be betting if the Cowboys make it to the divisional round that they will not make it to the conference championship. Bite your tongue! Hold How on, could you do let me, this? Let me, finish, wow. let me finish what I'm saying. Oh. I want them to go to the NFC Championship, and I think that they're good enough to do it. Yeah. But one way or the other, I'm getting paid. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like if they if they lose, like they have, you know, they haven't been to the divisional uh, round in 27 years. Yeah. Uh, then hey, I'm gonna at least make some money, right? And if they do, like trust me, if I I'm gonna bet four figures, whatever. Uh, if I make if I lose that money, I won't care because the Cowboys are in the NFC Championship right. game. So, it's win win. Yeah, it's win win. That's the way I'm looking at it.